Well, that was, uh, pretty heavy. Let's, let's try and focus on, on our task at hand. We can finally take out the alchemist now. The construction yards, where the alchemists and engineers who worked with the Ura constructed the wonders of this city. The alchemist will have his own plans for these machines. Unlike last time, they do actually tell us what the machines do. But for now, let's talk about how Elika was, you know, dead. It makes a lot of sense now why Elika's father did what he did and why Elika tried to hide it from the prince. I mean, that's some pretty intense stuff. So I guess Elika's a magical zombie now. And Ormaz must have given her the powers because he knew that Elika was the only one left who wanted to fix it. The only one who knew how to make it right. And the prince doesn't exactly believe in divine intervention. But it would make sense if the prince just happened to appear next to Elika when she needed someone the most. I'm not saying Ormaz generated a sandstorm specifically to make the prince fall down that canyon and meet Elika. Are you crazy? No, I'm not implying that at all. So here's one of the few times in the game with a genuine wall jump. I think we only have to do this once or twice in the whole game. And one of the times we have to do it is to get an orb, not an orb, a light seed, so you didn't even see it. So yeah, it's easy to sympathize with Elika's father now. But we still have to stop the apocalypse. It also makes sense why he's so afraid of losing her, because he lost her in the biggest way you can lose someone. She was dead. That psychologically scars people. You don't want to see your kids die before you do. And now she's running off with some guy that Elika's father doesn't even know. You think he's planning a surprise for us? I don't think he's interested in us. It's the fertile ground. True. I think I'd actually be more comfortable if he attacked us. What's keeping these things in the sky? Armor? No. These are the alchemist's work. These things are incredible. You think we could use them to fly? Once this is over, they should be destroyed. Why do you want to destroy them? What is born of evil carries its touch. This land should be purged. I thought all this was legend. I thought this was all there was. I mean, I don't know about that, Elika. Flying machines sound pretty cool. But I, I, I guess we can destroy them. Then again, we all know that flight can be used for very sinister purposes. Let's not wait for him to invent missiles. to destroy the fertile ground. We will have to go up there to get across. The alchemist seems to be taking a more active role in stopping us than the other corrupted have so far. If he destroys that, we can't build another one. We should be able to get across if we get these beams lined up. Another basic logic puzzle, though this one is my favorite. Even though it doesn't fit as well as the previous ones with the level around it. I think I like it because it toys with the idea that the prince can mainly only jump in cardinal directions. We have to hurry. I don't know how long the fertile ground can survive. If he destroys the fertile ground... I can't see the alchemist. He must be close. We have to get to the fertile ground. The jump is too big. That beam there is longer than the others. Could you use that? Let's line it up and find out. I can't see a way across. If we can rotate these platforms, we can line the beams up, then jump to the other platforms. I see what you mean. Machinery is evil. We can get across the platforms. It's just the final jump across to the fertile ground that's going to be tricky. That longer beam. That would get us across if we lined it up. I never get tired of seeing Elika walk the prince through puzzles like he's a child. Just has no attention span. This one turns all of them. That's rotated all of them. Even though it makes no sense, in the sense of basic utility, I love that this platform rotates. That's so neat looking. 
I'm not sure what the alchemist would have used it for. Maybe to generate power or something? That's kind of a stretch, though. Even after we have the long beam on the right side, we have to turn the platform so that the long beam is facing toward us. And we can only turn each of these platforms so many times. A pattern in the puzzles in this game is that everything you do affects something else. There. Good work. Is that you do not even question. Knowledge enlightens. You close your eyes in blind faith. Look, I'm not gonna disagree that knowledge and science are super cool, but usually you draw the line at killing people. Because otherwise you're kind of a hypocrite. So the alchemist forgot a vital detail in his combat strategy. There's no corruption around the edges. Which means... See ya, sucker. How do we... It's alright. It survived. doing to the fertile ground. He must have been seeking to break the energy that links the grounds to the temple. He was trying to set Aramon free. Well, we'd better seek a way to finish him before he does that. We may lead that way. If we could figure out a way to use those, it would save us a lot of time getting around this place. As soon as this is finished, they should be destroyed. We can't allow anything to endanger the fertile grounds again. When you were out there traveling, What's the most incredible thing you saw? I don't know. Lots of things. Tell me one. What do you want to hear? Something that took your breath away. Mountain ice. It shines like diamonds. I've seen walls of it as tall as buildings. Deep blue, blinding white. If you touch it, it burns. It's cold, but it turns to fire in your hand for just a moment. Then it's gone. Diamonds to water. Your turn. Tell me something about you. Uh, tell you what? Oh, I don't know. How about, uh, who was your last boyfriend? Never had one. Never? Never. If you've never had a boyfriend? I'm very well read. There are lots of things best experienced in person. Your turn to confess. Tell me about your family. They were killed. My family. They died. Oh, it was a long time ago. What happened? In a war. Someone else's war. Were you young when you lost your parents? Old enough to understand it was time to run away. My uncle took me. My parents stayed to protect the city. They'd collect me once it was safe. They never collected me. It must have been difficult. People live, people die. They chose to die for someone else's cause. Your parents died with honor. To protect other people. They died. Does the rest of it matter? You make your own path. I'm not gonna let Armin kill me or you. We each have a role to play. Tell that to Ormaz. Where's he? We can't absolve our... Oh, don't give me things someone else has taught you to say. Is there anything you've learned for yourself? That people aren't always what they seem. You got that right. You can't trust anyone. You can. If you know them. Does that include your father? My father has played his part. Now we play ours. There are things beyond us. There must be things that have happened in your life that you couldn't change. Well, the sky, or the sea. But you can always change things that have to do with you. 
You can change being here. We are. A god wants to escape, and we're changing that. You can change anything. If life is balanced, how come I keep getting the end of it that's been chewed up, spat out, and sat on by a camel? You rob tombs for a living. Sometimes. There's your answer. You think bad things only happen to bad people? Elika, you're the most dedicated person I've ever met, and look where that got you.